This is the AME uh, Zion, mm -hmm. okay, church. A photo of the historic House of Worship in Montrose, which Sherman Wooden points out, is part of an exhibit you'll find at the Center for Anti-Slavery Studies, or CAS for short. The now vacant church, which was significant to the anti-slavery movement, served as an impetus of sorts in 1996 when CAS set out on its mission. Maybe we need to start telling the story so people who are coming here may find out. The story starts with former British citizens who sought freedom themselves from England and found it in the heart of Pennsylvania's Susquehanna County. They were uh, feeling that uh, no man should own a servant. Several Montrose properties, including the more than two century old Silver Lake Bank building, which now houses Cass, were used as safe houses where escaped slaves who fled the South on a life or death journey took comfort and shelter. They were all heading towards in Canada, but they were finding along the way that there were communities and people who would support them, hide them, and they could work there. While many ultimately continued on to live in a free Canada, dozens of runaway slaves decided to stay in Montrose. They experienced freedom there and practiced their faith at Zion AME Church, which welcomed black worshipers for generations before permanently closing in 1975. So this is one reason that, that CAS wanted to expand its work, uh, not just with the AME Zion Church, but to include the Underground Railroad activity that had taken place with both the fugitives and the abolitionists. Abolitionists like Reverend Germaine Wesley Logan, the former slave turned preacher, formed African American Episcopal churches and helped usher slaves to safety. But it took research to reveal his Susquehanna County connection. And I became fascinated with him and his family and his work in my church, the AME Zion Church. And I was like, I was livid that, why, don't, why didn't we already know this? Independent researcher and cast board member Brenda Cave James is herself a descendant of slaves who made the Montrose area their home. And so this was very personal to me. Cass's first floor is filled with exhibits of the events, places, and people behind the region's rich anti-slavery movement throughout a 10-county section of northeastern Pennsylvania. The work here at CAS will soon expand to the second floor, where space currently used for storage will be converted into a conference room to attract speakers from near and far. The mission of CAS also includes acquiring sites in the community to preserve and shed light on what for too long was hidden history. It's the real uh, interesting thing that we want to be, that insight to let those know what has happened. For Hidden History, I'm Mark Hiller.